Hey folks, so I have an update on my Orange Pi Zero. Um, one of you viewers made a suggestion that I could use a, a converter cable to get video out of this thing and dispense with this. So what I'm currently using is this right here where the cables come in off of pins and they go to uh, a little um, adapter like this. And um, so I had a suggestion come in and I'm, I said, well, wow, that's a, that's a great idea. This would be a whole lot easier to use the expansion board. And here's a close up of the expansion board, which conveniently has a pinout. So I went on AliExpress and I ordered this cable for, I don't know, $1.50, $2, cheap, 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 a couple of bucks. It showed up in a few weeks. And um, so what this does is it takes a small jack like this and it, oh yeah, it fits in there and doesn't stick out. So this might actually work. So you can see here it's, it's in here completely and um, that will slide all the way in. So um, let's see how this works. So this will slide onto here. Get those pins lined up and we'll push this thing on. It's kind of rough on the hands, but there it is. And we'll plug this in. And then we'll plug the yellow part into the audio. I could care less about, I'm sorry. We'll plug the yellow part into the video. I don't care about the audio. And um, we'll find a power cord here and we'll power this up and see what happens. The only thing I don't like about this USB connector is it's just hard to figure out. It's hard to get the two sides separated. So let's see what happens. So on a whim, I'm going to go ahead and try the other connectors. There it is. So it doesn't, the pinout's not right. So for whatever reason, the um, video signal's actually on the red connector. So it does work. It is verified. Um, you will get uh, video signal if you use one of these cables. So this is a cheaper way to get video out of this thing. Um, so this multi-port uh, board, this little daughter board is, I don't know, I think it's five bucks. And then you need a couple dollar cable. And that's great because it saves you from messing with jumpers and it gives you, you know, two more USB ports. And for whatever stupid reason, they put an IR receiver on this thing mm, instead of um, an HDMI port. It just blows my mind. Um, so at any rate, it is true. You can get a video signal out with a cable, um, and this is, a, this is a nice way to drive one of these. So if I was gonna put this in for some sort of a visual solution, this is what I would use to do it, is, is the daughter board and the, and the cable. And that still leaves me, um, you know, that still leaves me my GPIO pins to do something exciting with. So um, thanks for watching my update. Hope you found it interesting and entertaining. Please feel free to like it, share it, contribute comments like this. This came from you guys, my viewers, and I really appreciate the suggestion. Um, and I hope this helps out some of the folks who are struggling to get these things to work. Um, you know, I had another comment uh, the other day asked me, well, what do you do with it now that you have it built as a computer? Well, I don't know. What do you do with it? Um, you know, once you have it bootstrapped into an operating system, there's all sorts of little things you could do with a $10 computer. Um, you know, and, and that's the whole point of these is it's an experimentation platform and, um, it, you know, it's designed, the, the processor is designed to be like a set-top box. The H2 is a little lower end than the H3. The H3 does 4K, which is just crazy. A $10 4K device. Um, so anyway, Thanks for watching my video. 